Rohina says, I'm losing confidence in myself because my husband looks down upon me. I'm hurt by my husband's words. He always compares me to his sister, to his mom, that they make great food and I cannot. He also praises other women. See how they do the job? See how they take care of their kids and husband? How good they are? When he sees them outside and says to me that I cannot do anything like them, I stay at home and I care for my family. I wear the niqab and gloves and only go out with him uh, uh, or with a mahram. Rohina, everyone has a test from Allah. Even the richest man on earth has tests from Allah Azza wa Jal. The head of women in paradise are four, as the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam. And one of them is Asiya. Asiya is the wife of Pharaoh. So her test was to be married to the most tyrant individual on earth. And we know who Pharaoh is and what he had done to the sons of Israel and how he rejected Musa and tried to kill him, etc. He claimed to, he claimed divinity. He said that I'm your Lord. And she was his wife. Yet for her patience, look where she is at the moment and the status she managed to achieve with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal and after that with her patience. So everyone has a test. Some people are tested in their health, like Prophet Ayyub, 18 years, an illness that made people resent him and stay away from him. He lost all of his children. He lost his loved ones. He lost his wealth and nobody took care of him except his wife. 18 years and he's a prophet. We get a calamity for a day or two and we raise our hands, why Allah, what have I done? I have supplicated six hours and you did not answer me. Prophet Ayyub, 18 years. Yet people are impatient. People are tested in their security. Your test, Rohina, is with an abusive husband. He is ignorant. He's an imbecile. What can you do? It is difficult to teach someone like that. Someone who has a brain of an ant. It's your test from Allah Azza wa Jal. You can't do anything about that. He criticizes the way you look. Yet he fails to look at himself in the mirror. He fails to see how bad the odor of his mouth is, or of his body, showers maybe every couple of days. He stinks. He doesn't look at his belly, which prevents him from looking at his toes. When he smiles, he thinks that the whole world is lit by his beautiful yellow, tarnished, filled with flake teeth. But such imbeciles, can't do anything more than that. This is how they live on picking up and picking on those who are under them. It's an inferiority complex because most likely his parents do the same with him. Look at your ugly face. Your brother is more handsome than you. He's richer. He gives us money and you don't. And his superior at work does the same thing to him. You're a failure. You don't know how to, how to do anything. Look at your colleagues. They're all getting promoted and getting a raise while you are stinking in, in this stagnant place of yours. So when he comes home, all those whom he can flex his muscles upon is you. He criticizes your food, but as long as this is the best you can do, Allah Azza wa Jal will praise you for that. So my advice to you is not to 
be affected with, with, with whatever he says. In Arabic, we say, let it come from the right ear and come out from the left ear. As if he said nothing. Whatever he says, just give him a smile and don't reply. Abusive people, they thrive on our responses. So if someone comes to me and says, Sheikh, you are like this and you're like that, and I'm angered by it, and I start to defend myself and justify what I had done, he will only get more and more abusive. He will be happy because he got a negative response or reaction from my side. I could keep on arguing with him, and he can go on until Fajr time. This is not taking us anywhere. But when an abusive person starts cursing you, pointing fingers at you, and you don't know how to cook and look at other women, they do job, they bring money to the family, you can defend yourself and say, yeah, but this is not my job, this is a man's job, it's your job to provide for us, my job is to take care of the house, he would keep on going. Yeah, but you're not taking care of the house, you don't know how to cook, look at the house is dirty, my shirt yesterday was not ironed, the children are not clean, you're not giving them proper uh, teaching and, and they're not studying well and da, 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 da. it never ends and only it would increase you in depression in sadness and which would cause a great rift between you and your husband eventually and inevitably you will hate him resent him and at the end of the day you want to divorce now, this is not a way you have children you don't have another life outside of your husband. Yes, he is abusive, but there are good things about him. So flip the coin and look at the positive sides in him while dealing with him as you deal with abusive people. What do I do when the people are abusive? Dealing with me, total ignoring them. So they speak, they curse you, they point fingers at you, they accuse you of things, give them a smile. Do not say anything. Not even, I didn't do that. No. Oh, yes, you're true. Nothing. Just smile. When they want to engage in an argument, don't accept. Maybe sometimes you say, you might be right. And that's it. So they keep on talking, keep on talking while you're giving them a smile and not paying attention to what they say, not allowing it to penetrate your heart, which is difficult. But... With time, you get to learn it, inshallah. After a few times of such an argument, they start to feel silly. They start to feel irritated because they're not getting any response. So you're turning the table on them. By not responding to them, you are killing them softly. But if you do respond, then they become stronger. It's like oxygen to them. They get a good sense of breeze. Breeze and a, fr a, 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 a breath of fresh air, which you don't want because oxygen fuels fire. Eliminate oxygen, the fire dies. So may Allah make it easy for you. Remain steadfast. Remain staying home, wearing your niqab, your gloves taking care of the children and, and of his house, and soon, inshallah, he will leave what he is doing.